Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Grizzly Bear Sims YouTube channel, and welcome back to another Grizzly Bear Sims course play tutorial. And here we are, finally, the much awaited uh, course play tutorial for how to use the auger wagon with course play and the combine and a semi. Uh, or even even a tractor, you could use a tractor and a tipper here in this uh, in this example if you wanted to. For this example, for this tutorial, we're going to use our semi truck and our uh, Wilson our Wilson trailer. Okay, so the first thing that we want to do with this course, and basically this is the exact same field that we um, did the earlier um, uh, course play tutorial on just basic harvesting we use this field as well and so the harvester course will be the same but for this course we're going to use um, a different mode and that is the grain transport load at start option which is your very first icon we want to go ahead and click that and then we're going to go ahead and start up our semi here and get my camera pulled around so I can see straight and then we're going to go ahead and start our course recording okay now what what we're going to do after we release our parking brake is we're going to go ahead and more or less do what we did before and that is drive our course, the course that we want our semi uh, driver and the tipper to follow and so we'll just kind of slowly and carefully drive around the edge of the field here and I'm going to jump into the cab mode just so that I can see a little bit better make sure I don't come close to trees or fences and we're just going to drive our course how we would normally drive it and the reason why we want to start with recording this course first is because we want we need to establish where the semi the tipper and the the semi truck will basically park uh, and wait to be filled we need to establish that before we actually record the auger uh, wagon course and so we're going to go ahead and just pull in through here just like this nice wide turns and come around and come through our silo just like so and just like that and then we'll come around and we'll just basically make a nice simple loop um, back to our starting point And again, traffic is still turned off, so we're not going to worry about traffic. We're going to pull out here, and then we will go ahead and pull in through this little uh, street there. And then pull around the edge of the field, just like so. And I'm going to get out of the cab again so I can see my start point. And just kind of get lined up here. It doesn't have to be perfect, but... If it's a little bit easier for the tractor and the tipper or the truck and the tipper to get straightened up, that will actually help. So we want to head it in the course. Now, unlike uh, pulling out um, wheat or anything like that from our grain silo, we don't have to worry about this. We don't need to select the crop or anything like that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just check these. That's fine. We don't need to make any changes there. We will turn on four-wheel drive. And as I mentioned in the first example with course play and harvesting, the fuel save option is on by default, and that's a good thing. All of these things are going to be okay. We don't need to make any changes. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to go ahead and save this, and this will be field two, um, grain transport. Okay, and that's all we need to do. We'll save that. And then what we're going to do here is, again, just like I sort of like to do, I like to back this guy up just a little bit. And then we will start this guy on the course at the nearest waypoint and have him drive the course. Now, what he will do is he's going to come up and he basically should stop at the starting point. Okay, because, again, the starting point is the point of which we want him to basically be filling so that's where he's going to stop and so this is why it's important to record this first or this course first now what we're going to do is we're going to tab up to our um, our John Deere here and I'm going to go ahead and get this guy started now the course from before field two combine northwest to south that is still valid 
So I will go ahead and select that course because it's the same as what we did in the first example. There's no difference. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and unfold our harvester like so. And then we will turn him on and get him started. And as I talked about before, after I release my parking brake, I do kind of pull into the field just a little bit and get this first five to ten feet or so of, um, of crop just because I'm picky and I want to make sure that we have everything that we need. And so let me just check to make sure four-wheel drive is on just for added traction. And we will go ahead and send him on his way. So this guy is going to go ahead and start harvesting the barley on this field and he's also laying down a windrow as well. So now I'm going to teleport to our Challenger tractor. And this tractor, as I will move him out just a little bit here, this is carrying our, this is transporting or pulling our auger wagon. Now this auger wagon is a mod. This is the Kinsey uh, auger wagon. It's on my mod spreadsheet. If you go to grizzlybearsims.com, again, that's grizzlybearsims.com, you'll find a link to all of my mods and add-ons directory and that will help you find this auger wagon. It's a very nice auger wagon and let me tell you I'm very impressed with the changes that the course play development team have put in place for the whole um, auger uh, offloader type function. So we need to pull up our course play here and we're going to be using a completely new category that we have yet to talk about in any of our course play tutorials and it's this third one here it's the overloader it's empty empty combine and offload to a trailer okay so we want to go ahead and select that and what we will also go ahead and do just for our due diligence is we'll go ahead and find our combine here um, again I like to do this you don't necessarily have to especially if you're only doing one uh, one one harvest if you've only got course play doing one uh, one harvest um, on your map the automatic will somewhat work most of the time but I like to just go ahead and set that and obviously we want to set that for four-wheel drive now what we want to do and I'm going to go ahead and do my pipe out the course play one of the changes that course play made um, with um, with farm sim 7 or with the farm sim 17 version is that it will control the um, the auger pipe so it will basically unfold it and fold it as it is necessary so what we're going to do here is we're just going to go ahead and um, and let him I'm going to I'm going to do an edit here and I will be back after the harvester has made his second pass here. Okay, so our combine has made his second pass here. We've got a little bit more real estate to work with here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start my course recording and this basically is recording a course from the field to the tipper uh, tractor trailer uh, operation here. We're going to set a waypoint and then we're going to record, finish recording the course back into the field and then we're going to stop it. Okay, so we do, again, we're in the third option, which is overloader, empty combine and offload to trailer. We're in that option. We're going to go ahead and do start course recording. And then I'm going to just bring our tractor and our tipper along over here. I'm going to try to get straight with the tractor and with the tipper before we get too close to it, because unfortunately uh, we might get the false, um, you know, that, it, that it's blocking the path. Uh, so we're going to set our weight point here, and then we're going to go ahead and pull forward and then pull sort of back into the field like this, and we're going to stop it, and we're going to just name this course here F2 Overloader, okay, and save it, and that is in place, and we can go ahead and move our pipe back in because it doesn't matter, and then we will go ahead and drive the course. So as soon as he gets in sync with the combine, he will proceed and follow the combine and he will empty the combine. Now keep in mind that again, just like I talked about in the first episode of the harvesting uh, course play tutorial, if you're running the, um, um, the crop damage or the crop destruction mod from Giants, 
course play, as long as course play is controlling the AI, it will not hurt your crop. So you're going to just have to not pay very close attention that the fact that the tracker, tractor in the auger wagon is driving through the crop because we can't really control that. And so here we are. And he is basically emptying the combine. And then momentarily he will basically wait until the combine is out of the way and then he will pull forward just a little bit and basically probably shut down his engine and wait for the combine to call him back um, back into service. Now, what we can also do here is just to demonstrate that everything is working as we suspect that it will is I'm going to tab and get into our combine here. And I'm basically going to go to this first tab. Now this first tab get, provides us a few things. First of all, and you may have seen me use this um, in some of my episodes, if we want to request a driver, we can. And I will do that here momentarily. I'm going to let the combine um, go to the end and then get reset and come back the other direction. Okay, so our combine is set. I'm going to request a driver. Now what's going to happen is um, our tractor and our Kinsey auger wagon overloader will pick up the call and they will drive down and they should make a circle back behind the combine and then come up on the pipe side. like so. And of course I'm just I'm forcing it to come and empty the combine just for the sake of the the demonstration here because what I want to do next momentarily is I want to go ahead and and send him the challenger to go and empty into the semi. And we can also force him to do that here by saying send driver home what will happen, and I'm just going to jump over into the Challenger here, is he is going to go over and he's going to come down here to this course and pick up this course and then swing around just like so, automatically opening or moving the pipe out. He's going to come along and come up and proceed behind the tractor trailer, the semi and trailer, and then he will stop at his wait point and he will wait until he has overloaded the semi. The semi-trailer, uh, I think this is a Wilson trailer, it's a mod and it's on my mod spreadsheet as well. Um, or actually, nope, it's a Dakota trailer. Uh, so my apologies. Anyway, it is slightly smaller than the capacity of the auger wagon. So as you can hear, the semi has started up. So I think that the semi operator will probably go ahead and move on out as well. So you're actually seeing this happen in real time. And he's going to drive and he will automatically cover and he will drive around and empty the barley in the silo and everything will just continue to function just like you've seen here. So ladies and gentlemen, this is basically how you add the overloader or the auger wagon process to your harvester. Uh, this works out really great because you can basically utilize your tractor and your overloader and the combine and either a tractor and a tipper or the semi and the, and the trailer, whatever, whatever you have, whatever you want to do, uh, it'll work just fine. So um, if you also, if you have super big fields, um, which we really don't have those really large fields, well, I suppose our soybean field would have been a good example of that. 
but unfortunately we lost that. Um, you could actually have, and I've done this like on um, Graceland and on states back in FS15 where those are super sized maps, is you could actually have two combines and two tractor auger wagons as well as two semis and basically have them working opposite sides of the field, have one semi and uh, have one semi and auger wagon and, and combine on the on the east side of the field going up and down and then have on another complete set over here on the west side of the field going up and down and basically meet up in the middle so that is a possibility for you lots of different things that you can do but this is one of my favorite uh, ways of harvesting especially on the larger maps where i would utilize an auger wagon so thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it. And please tell all your friends about the course play tutorials. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below or contact me via email at grizzlybearsims at gmail.com. Thanks for watching. Take care and God bless you all. Bye-bye.